Welcome Guardians, my name's Chit, and welcome to Destiny Chit Chat. Today we're going to be going over how to run the sword on the Crota's End Raid. Now I've noticed that a lot of players steer clear from this job because it can be pretty stressful and it puts a lot of expectation and weight on you as a player. But today is going to be very different because I'm going to make it very easy for anyone to be able to run sword. Now first I want you to notice right where I jump down as I'm waiting for Swordbearer to come out. This little corner here is your safe zone. Nine times out of ten, Gatekeeper will leave you alone. But keep your eye on that radar because if that bright red circle comes up, just jump straight up into the air. Now when you finally start going after the sword, don't run straight through it. Go from cover to cover because Crota likes to shoot at you. Now when jumping up to the rock, the goal isn't so much to land on the rock but to run into the wall so that you drop straight down onto the rock. Another thing I like to do here at this point is as I'm jumping up, that's when I tell the team to fire rockets because that first rock that you jump onto, Crota tends to uh, like to shoot at you and it spells a lot of trouble. Now at this point is where I wait to see about two or three rockets hit Crota before I move in. Then you do a quick R1 for dashing, and then you start spamming that R2 button. I'm on PS4, don't hate me. Then on your escape, land on the higher of the two rocks because it has more cover and Crota won't be able to get a line of sight on you and shoot you. You can actually just run onto the rock itself, you don't even have to jump. Now I get into a little trouble here on my escape. See as I'm jumping up, I get hit by I believe Crota, and uh, it was pretty nerve-wracking and then I run into a wall like a noob so in order to save myself I just pop my super and then everything became right in the world now during this commercial break I want to go over a few things with you guys that uh, I wasn't really able to explain as I was sorting Crota so don't touch that dial now the way this is set up is that you get four chances to get three hits with two swords Maybe a bit confusing, but all you need to remember is that it's a 3-3-3-3. Three, 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 three. All three hits. Now one of these sets of three hits needs to be a four hit, with a total of 13 hits because a 14th would enrage him and then the sword would disappear on you. Now once you get a little more confident in your skill, you can go ahead and play it around with those numbers and say get a four and a four. That way later on all you have to do is a three and a two. Now I was a little upset by my sword performance because I know I hit him 4 and 4 yet the damage really only shows that I did a 4 and a 3. Which only means that Crota got his shield a little bit sooner than I was able to do damage on him. Now the way I judge whether I can get a 4 hit on Crota or not is totally dependent on his position because I'm a titan. I'm not a hunter that can go invisible. If you see Crota along the left side of his performance stage, uh, it's generally a bad idea to go for a 4 hit because you have to escape onto the right side and that's a pretty long escape route. You're only increasing the chances that he takes a swing at you and he actually lands it. So it's always best to go for a 4 hit when he's right on the right side, almost next to you when you go to jump up to him. Now in this moment in the fight, I actually get another 4 hit on Crota which uh, kind of worried my team that he, would, he was going to enrage so they didn't shoot their rockets that time and I was put in a bit of an awkward position but everyone made it to the ogre room just fine. Now here's a question for you guys. This is Crota's health just before we entered the ogre room. Now do you think one more hit would have enraged him? Yes or no? I'll give everyone just a moment. Did everyone place their votes? Okay great. We'll find out the answer in a bit when not supposed to answer it now oh come on well as you can see Crota's health now uh, he actually will not enrage on the next hit which is going to cause me some problems later on now my team was shooting the floor and the windows to try and get Swordbearer's attention but uh, fortunately it w worked against us and he went missing we just couldn't find him now when that happens, it's your job as Swordbearer to jump down to that safety zone that I showed you at the beginning of this video and to try and draw him over to you so that your team can take him down. Now I'm going to stress this again, make sure you avoid Gatekeeper by watching your radar and avoiding Crota's shots. 
Now, I really couldn't find Sword Bearer, and I just went out there and realized he was right next to me. And I'm rushing back to my team so that we could take him out quickly. Sword Bearer has a tendency to go into hiding right at the end when you know you're going to beat Crota because he's a jerk. Now, this is the final stretch, guys. It's now or nothing. Okay, firing rockets. Jump. Dash. One. Two. Three. Oh, yeah! The moment of glory, guys. Let's do this. Leroy Jenkins. One, two, three. No, one more. Yes, yes, yes. Well, that's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Share this video, click that like button, and subscribe to my channel for more daily Destiny content. This is Chit, and I approve this message.